you guys, it's Minimize and welcome back to RimWorld, the alternative sort of jungle booky sort of the version thing uh, that we're doing. <laughs> Hope you're all okay. Um, the channel hit 100 subscribers last night, so thank you very much to all of you guys. Um, really, really appreciated. And um, yeah, no, just thanks for hitting that subscribe button and anyone who likes the videos and stuff as well. Um, it's really nice hearing from all of you. That aside, let's get back to it. Let's get in and let's find out what these guys are up to. So Ammon, our researcher, he's just finished um, researching Wake Up production, so we can probably uh, start to craft some Wake Up now. I do like Wake Up. Wake Up's uh, one of these drugs in RimWorld that you can take once every three days, I think it is, and you don't get addicted to it. And it just gives you a like a work speed bonus. Um, I'm pretty sure it sort of gives you uh, like extra consciousness, um, moving, and yeah, I think like work speed and stuff like that. So it just allows you to do a little bit more. And obviously, if you, if you have one every three days in RimWorld, I think you can safely take it on uh, that sort of uh, kind of quantity. Um, let's have a look. Alpaca wool. We made some alpaca wool dusters recently, didn't we? Uh, Mowgli's got one of those, I believe, in his gear tab. There he does. He does indeed. Uh, colonists are gathering together, or colonists are gathering to celebrate Mowgli and Law's marriage. So, where did they decide? Because we... We said, that, didn't we, that we was going to let them have the marriage wherever they wanted to. We wasn't going to create a marriage area because we can put down, I think we can put down a marriage spot. Yeah, we can. We can designate a marriage spot if we want to. But we said we'd let them pick. And where have they picked? They've picked the kitchen. The dirty, dirty kitchen. It's absolutely filthy. Um, the only one who's not turned up yet is Ammon. Got Mowgli, Bagheera, Blue Tricks, and Law. Obviously, Mowgli and Law are going to be there because they're the ones getting married. Um, oh, Bagheera's had enough. He's like, no, nah, it's marriage. Not really for me. It's a bit of a sham. So I'm going to leave. And he, he, he just left. Um, Ammon, how rude are you? There we go. He's on his way. Sorry, Mowgli and Law. Ammon didn't mean to be so rude. He was going to turn up eventually. Just walking all the way around the wind turbine so he doesn't get mashed to pieces. <laughs> How great would it be if they actually parved through like the wind turbine blades? You see little bits of ammon and stuff everywhere. Alright, here we go. So Mowgli and Law are beginning their marriage ceremony. So we're gathered here today to witness the marriage of um, Mowgli and Law. May they live in peace and harmony for the rest of their days. For richer, for poorer, for better, for worse. In sickness and in health. So that's, that's sleeping sickness and everything included. So if Mowgli ever contracts sleeping sickness, if Law ever contracts sleeping sickness, the other one has to be there by their side, sort of getting them up, getting them about. Can't lay down. None of that. There we go. Ammon's just standing in the doorway. Blue Tricks, he's had enough now. He's just cutting stone blocks. Maybe he's making them like a nice sort of wedding present or something. Ammon's just watching on. I don't know if this is a little bit too creepy from Ammon. He's, he, there he is. Look, if we click on him. He's spectating. Attending marriage ceremony. Spectating. There's an aura as well. What a perfect time. Mowgli and Law have married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. And there's an aura. How nice is that? What a perfect time, Cassandra Classic. What a perfect time. And um, Blue Tricks has turned up again. Uh, attending marriage ceremony, relaxing socially. Uh, Law's just sat at the table. Ammon, he's, he's chilling out as well. Blue Tricks also. Mowgli, he's next to the bag of rice going, just got married, peeps. Just got married. All right, speed this up a bit. They all need to get back to work. Pull out the... the uh, and there's a raid! The, oh, what? The marriage ceremony for Mowgli and Law has been called off? Oh! No, no, that was perfect time. Right, these are... They're all eating now. They're all eating their rice. They're like, there's a raid and we need to eat rice because we need to gear up for it. There's quite a few people here. There is Ray Wolfen. Ray Wolfen. Uh, these are all from the Emotionless Pigs. We've got Barragas. Blitz. I'm pretty sure we uh, killed Blitz earlier. Uh, Shawl. Jet. And Carlotta. So there's one, two, three, four. There's six of them. We've got four people. Six raiders. And a whole host of animals. We've got the war elephants now, haven't we? The war, the uh, the war elephants are all Mowgli's. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to bring them up. We're going to hide behind here. It's say they, yeah, they're attacking. Uh, they're attacking. They're attacking immediately. We'll just keep all of our animals behind here with us. Then as they come in, we'll, um, we'll just release the animals. There we go. Right. War elephants. That's it. That's what it's all about. Right, the gear is attacking Shaw. Right, the emotionless pigs are fleeing. Ray Wolfen's running away. Blitz is he's trying to take on Peaches by himself, but um Dallas and the other elephant have gotten involved. They're like, nah. Not at all. Not at all. Right, so Blitz is down, one of the boards is down. Um we should probably what we should probably do is uh, get a few more animal beds down. So if we go furniture and we'll go animal sleeping spot. Uh we'll come along here, we'll make a few just along there. What we could do actually, just make them sort of alongside the freezer and then the guys don't have, really have uh, too long to, or too far to travel um, in order to be able to heal them up. Right, Ammon, are you incapable of caring? I think, yeah, you are. Right, blue tricks, blue tricks, blue tricks, blue tricks. If you can prioritize tending to Dallas, Law, if you can uh, prioritize tending, no, do not melee attack elephant one. Maybe, maybe elephant one wasn't ill. Uh, Peaches is. No. Hold on. Uh, no. Right, okay. Law is. That's the reason why. Prioritize tending to elephant one. Where's Baloo? What's Baloo up? Baloo didn't get involved in that at all, I don't think. At least I don't remember him. We're going to get the capybara trained in, in release. Just so that the, like, the capybara actually has a use. Because, as far as I know, capybaras do not really have much about them. Uh, Rainbow's just laying down next to Shaw. So Shaw is slowpoke and beautiful. Decent at medicine, artistic and intellectual. Uh, Jet is incapable of caring and uh, animals. Blitz is um, masochist and volatile. So his mental break threshold is quite, quite high. So... Out of these, if we'd probably take, I don't know, Ammon, you can just uh, capture Shaw. Right, the aura's ending. Mowgli and Law, I don't think they got married, did they? Social. Husband! Oh, the, okay, maybe it was just the party that was cancelled. Quite possibly the party. Right, Ammon's, uh, Ammon is capturing uh, Shaw, so just unpause that. Uh, Blue Tricks, if you can get out of bed, just um, prioritise tending to Shawl. And just see if you can uh, if you can save them. Alright, Prisoner. Uh, recruitment difficulty is 61%, so that's not too high. We should be able to recruit him quite easily. Alright, Peaches and stuff, have you been... Body, you got a bruise from Bolt Action Rifle. Uh, Law, just um, come and sort of tend to Wild Boar 6. Mowgli, come and just tend to Bacon. And then hopefully we'll um hopefully everybody will be okay. Bagira wasn't really injured too badly. Uh, we have got a couple of weapons now though, so we can uh, unforbid these. A superior steel knife. Right, Bagira is fully healed. Shawl is about to be um about to be tended to. About to have all those uh, cuts and that closed up. Right. Crisis averted, I think. Maybe not. Blue Tricks just come and tend to Wild Boar 7. Okay. I think we're pretty much there now. Any animals which are still bleeding. I mean, Bacon is down, but Bacon has been healed, I think. He has. Um, his front left hoof has been destroyed. Uh, who else? Peaches uh, just, has just got a bruise. That's it. Nothing too major there. Um, Wild Boar 6 has been patched up, and the last one was Wild Boar 7, which uh, Blue Tricks is treating now, so... No worries on that front, really. The tortoise is down. What happened to the tortoise? Oh, maybe the, uh, maybe the tortoise got caught in the crossfire. It looks as though that's what's happened. Uh, Ammon's bolt-action rifle bullet hit the tortoise. The tortoise crumpled because of a gunshot wound. The tortoise then got up, and then has crumpled again due to blood loss. 
And then fired deliberately at the tortoise. Oh. Maybe that was a maybe that was the mad one from the other day. Possibly. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I told you my memory was bad, didn't I? Or at least I think I did. <laughs> um right. Sean's been patched up. We're gonna go uh, chat and recruit. Chat and recruit. Probably needs to get everybody on cleaning. So cleaning duties are gonna need to be quite high. Law and Mowgli. We're gonna knock you two up a, a tad for that because the other two can't clean. So Blue Tricks can get back into bed. Mowgli and Law, they're they're fast asleep as well. Uh, not really much else going on at the moment. Um, Ammon, he's doing a bit of researching. What are we, what are we researching now? Uh, we're researching Pennyoxalin production. We'll go uh, medicine productions after that. We'll then go. I think we'll go Go Juice. Um, maybe uh, we can't do animal healing afterwards. So maybe what we'll do then potentially is. Uh, maybe refining, something like that. Maybe refining. We do need to get like a uh, like a production room in and do something like that. We'll go coloured lights as well. Why not? We'll go coloured lights and um, LED tech, and then we'll go simple animal prosthetics, just so we've got some research on the go. Uh, Peaches has been fully healed. Get rid of that. The visitors from the blue, uh, the blue Desert Alliance are leaving. An awful pistol. Right, Pennyoxalin production has been finished. Uh, learn to produce Pennyoxalin, a disease prevention drug. So depending on how much that costs to make, because I think we're going to need to make it at the drugs lab, um, which is under production. Yeah, drug lab right there, but we haven't got enough components and stuff at the moment. Uh, Ray Wolfen is dead. Uh, Ammon shot hit Ray Wolfen, so it was probably the... Maybe the left kidney which did it. Yeah, it looks as though that's, that might have been what it did. Right, once all the cleaning has been done then, which it looks as though it almost has been, I think Mowgli's just finishing up the last little bit. So yeah, cleaning's all been done. Um, Mowgli is possibly now going to cook some food. No, he's going to eat. Mowgli, what are you doing now? You're cleaning blood. Can we, what we want to do, blue tricks. Ammon, why are you idle? All right, he's going to relax socially. So what we want to do is stop the expansion automatically of the home area, which is this little button down in the corner. Because if you do that and you build like a wall somewhere, it puts all of these, puts all of the, uh, the, the like the home area sort of around around those structures and they, they do all of the cleaning within the home area so what you want to do is um, just clear the home area and just make it the actual area that you want them to firefight in because they'll only firefight within the home area and you want the home area to be their cleaning area as well because they'll clean they'll clean and firefight within the home area so if we keep it to just to just this area, any dirt or any fire within this blue area here, um, they will tend to. I think it goes for repairing as well. I'm pretty sure repairing falls under that. So if there's any walls or, and stuff which are damaged, um, I say that I don't know. It may only be it may only be if you claim walls. So if you like claim structures, so like this. Um, obviously that is kind of broken. The HP is a little bit low on it. 306 out of 350. I think if we were to claim that, then I think they would come and repair it. Oh, hold on. We've got a zzzzt. Alright, everyone. So here we go. There is, uh, fire spreading in there. Because that's within the home area. They clean it up. So we have to wait until morning. No, we don't. No, we don't because we've got a wind turbine. Although the wind turbine is going to be blocked by these trees, or just this singular tree, so we're just going to chop the wood. I was thinking about maybe sort of um, getting like a, a tree farm up, but like all the trees they're growing wildly anyway, 
So if you remember, sort of uh, a few episodes back, there was like no wood around. We had to sort of come all the way over here for some wood. Now, the uh, the trees are starting to grow around here again. So it doesn't look as though we're going to need to plant any trees for the moment. At least not yet anyway. We, we may have to at some point, but at least not yet. I forgot we put a commerce console in. That's a bit of luck. Start getting some traders and whatnot. Uh, what we'll do, inside here, we will put our silver. And our gold. And then, like, maybe jade as well. Just so that um, if we've got any of that stuff, it goes in here and it's within the orbital trade beacon. Because anything outside of, the, outside of this room at the moment is not going to go anywhere. Um... If we get any sort of orbital traders come past, we're not going to be able to send the gold and stuff over. All right, it may get a solar panel in at some point. Uh, Ammon, what are you doing? You are milking the boomerope. And now you're relaxing socially. Why are you idle? Work, Ammon. Research. There is research to do. What is... Okay, I know the reason for that. Right, go juice production. There we go. That's the reason, because we don't have the... Um... So that requires the high-tech research bench. Because we don't have the high-tech research bench, Ammon is not actually... He's he's not actually researching, so he's idling. So we'll, we'll come away from that. We'll, um, we'll just go go juice production. Um, after that, we will go with... Um, we'll go cultivation. We'll go... What can we do after that? Go LED tech. We can go colored lights. Um, we can go long blades. Um, mending maybe in a bit. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What about refining and then mortars maybe? And then possibly gas operation and military grade turrets. And just get all of that research on the go. Uh, like I said, I do want a production room, so that is something which is going to happen in the near future. We just need to wait for a load of blocks, really. We've got 138 sandstone blocks, and then 420 slate blocks. I think, so we're going to put some more bedrooms up here as and when we get people. Um, wardening, who's on wardening? All right, we'll put wardening as uh, as one for these guys. I think should Ammon be our our wardener? He's an optimist, a fast walker, and industrious. Uh, Shawl is his friend. He doesn't really like anyone else in the colony. They're just acquaintances and rivals. We should maybe make everybody cowboy hats because then, obviously, with the social chat impact um, that the cowboy hats give, it may be a little bit more beneficial for them to uh, to interact with each other then. All right, Mowgli has, uh, has welcomed Shaw to the colony. So, Shaw, you, if I remember rightly, you're incapable of nothing, which is amazing. All right, so work, Shaw. There we go. Ones all the way up until refueling. Wardening is going to be an eight for you. Handling a nine. Uh, training a nine. Cooking and butchering are going to be eights. Uh, Bruins a nine. Hunting can be a... You can't really shoot, but we'll put you on a three anyway. Uh, repairing is going to be one. Deconstructing is going to be eight. Uh, constructing is eight as well. Growing is going to be eight also. Uh, mining and drilling will go seven because we don't really have any miners. Uh, plant cutting is going to be a five. Uh, drugs are three because it's got a little bit of a passion for it. Uh, components can be a, a nine. Uh, smithing and tailoring is going to be not, uh, going to be eights on that. Uh, art is going to be a three because he does have a passion. Uh, we have a few people for, with a passion for art, actually. Um, crafting is going to be uh, an, an eight as well. We'll go an eight for crafting. Uh, loading and... Uh, what's that? Cremating. Loading and cremating are going to be ones. Hauling. Cleaning is going to be a one. And research is going to be a three. Although we'll knock these guys down. We'll, um, we'll go eights for everybody on the research. Apart from... Go seven for blue tricks. No, we won't. We'll go, we'll go eight. 
Yeah, we'll leave Ammon to do all the research. So Ammon's going to stay on a two. Everybody else is going to be on an eight. And that's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, Sean, as, as yet, doesn't have a bedroom. Um, so what we will do, we'll create a bedroom for him. And we're going to go slate blocks. Just going to make sure there's like a two or a three gap in between. Uh, just going to pause it quickly. That's going to be seven all the way to there. Right. We cancel. We'll cancel that. We'll do a two block. Do a two block in between and we'll come all the way down here. Um, but for the moment, if we just leave it like that. Because if we... Was it a two? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that's seven. That's fine. And then if we put a slate block door in up here, we'll put one in here too. And then that can be Shaw's bedroom. And then, yeah, that'll be cool for the moment. That'll be absolutely fine. Do you need somebody... Mowgli, can you just come along and prioritise just cutting that, just so the, um, the wind turbine produces more power? There we are. Fantastic and amazing. Like a disco in there now, isn't it? Disco, disco. Right, Blue Tricks is going to build this. This is going to be, as I say, Shaw's bedroom. Right, Shaw's just healing up in there. He's um, still got blood loss and a frostbite scar. Some other bits and pieces wrong with him. A bite. Big, that must be where Bagheera bit him. Uh, we'll put him on attack, though. So this little button down here is quite handy, if you guys have never seen it before. Just changes their current mode from uh, from fleeing from any danger, ignoring any danger, and uh, attacking any danger. Okie doke. So, there we are. Everyone's in bed. Everyone's asleep, apart from Shaw. He's just come out for some rice. So, we're going to end the episode there. Thank you all again for watching. Um, cheers for any likes, comments, subscribes as well. Um, don't forget to do that, or... As I always say, I'll bite your face off. And uh, we'll see you soon. So, ciao for now.